I'm inside the mission control complex of the Indian Space Research Organization on a day when India's Mangalyaan has reached Mars. I have with me Dr. V. Adimurti, the man who made the first feasibility report that India can reach Mars. Dr. Adimurti, from report to reality, how are you feeling? From report to reality, it's a dream come true for me, for my hundreds of colleagues who worked with me and thousands of other members of the ISRO family who worked and toiled day in and day out on various aspects of this very complex mission and also to the rest of the country who always supported us. It's a dream come true and it's a very satisfying journey for us. When you wrote that report, did you ever feel that we would be on Mars very soon. I remember that thick volume of a report. When we made that report, we are sure that we will be there because this is a well-conceived mission and we wanted to reach this place in the shortest possible time, the cheapest way and technologically available aspects that are there. You can see our dear little PSLV XL has not only put Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle, Geosynchronous Launch Vehicle, Chandrayaan, and also it has done the Mars. And then we have designed specifically the trajectory aspects of the launch system and the interplanetary system, which tuned, is tuned for this thing. So right from the beginning, I know when the calculations have been done, have been vindicated uh, by all our colleagues, uh, I know that this will be a success. The Prime Minister gave a lovely message celebrate for the scientists. Is there some message you want to give to the scientists, to the Prime Minister? As far as scientists are concerned, I believe no celebration is required because the celebration is the very fact and the very activity of doing the science, doing the work. That is the satisfying aspect of it. I don't need any other further celebration. The very journey to reach this goal is the satisfying aspect that I, I look for. No further thing is required. So now you are really on Mars. Will you sleep tonight? Or like Arunan, you will spend sleepless nights? Sleep is no problem. Because the, if there is great anxiety in the mind, then the aspects of uh, 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 the success and failure will come. But when you have confidence and when you know that you have done your best and whatever you, the best can be done by you and your colleagues have done it, there is nothing for that to be done and therefore you have done your task. The result is automatically will come as it should come and in this case it should be a success and it was a success. Can you tell me what kind of history have we made in, in, in all these missions which have happened on Mars? Certainly, yes. I would say this is a very important milestone as far as reaching Mars is concerned. Several countries have, agencies have uh, tried in the past. And as you already know, the success rate of uh, going to Mars is not very, very good. And uh, uh, almost 50% of the things have been failures. And never a particular country which tried to go to Mars in the first attempt, it has been successful. Therefore, I would say today is uh, a dream, not only a dream come true for us, it is a history made for all of us, for ISRO, for India, and for the world. So that was Dr. Adi Murthy, the man who made the first feasibility report that India can re reach Mars. A man who has now seen report to reality, saying dream come true, and global history being made. Not many people in their lifetime can see the kinds of achievement which Dr. Adi Murthy has seen. From inside the mission control complex of ISRO with camera person Alphonse Raj, Pallav Bagla for NDTV.